Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a segment on autumn radiance. Yes, it's an autumn design based on the Pantone color of the year, radiant orchid, which you think of as a bright spring or summer color. But when you add it to shades and tones of purples and hydrangea, it makes a fabulous autumn design. The foam has been soaked with water and flower food, and then it's anchored into place using two anchor pins and floral clay. To do that, just pull off a strip, roll it like a donut, just like so, and then push it down onto the bottom of the anchor pin, and then that secures into the bottom of the dish and anchors the foam in place. The hydrangea are so big and full. I'm going to place those first. Now they'll last best in foam if I dip them in alum. Alum is a white powder. It looks kind of like salt or sugar. It's a pickling spice that you can find at the grocery store. And if you take each stem, give it a cut, then dip it in the alum, and then place it into the foam, getting it nice and deep down into the water reservoir, it will last so well. It doesn't dehydrate and droop the way it can be very frustrating with hydrangeas. So it's just a matter of giving it a cut, dipping it, and then placing it in the foam. Now that I have the base begun, going back and adding in the orchids. Now they don't need the alum. So just giving them a cut, placing them down deeply into the foam. You can see the contrast in color is fabulous. Nice and deep. These two are so lush and gorgeous. Bringing the color front, back, and top, and bottom so that it fills it out throughout the design. Now to fill in with tones and shades of purple. Some ageratum from the garden brings in that deep, deep, vibrant purple. I'm going to cut and then just tucking it down low, filling in the areas that don't have quite enough color and adding that deeper contrast. Off to the opposite side, just kind of scooching the hydrangea over to make room. Filling in. It's got such fabulous, fabulous texture. And then some of the moonshade mini carnations. And that soft, soft lavender. And tucking it low, deep into the water. Coming out towards the front. And even dropping down to break the line of the container. Then coming back with the Lysianthus. I even like the buds. Brings in the green of the hydrangea. And then the more open blooms, and lavender and purple. Letting them go at varied levels so it adds a more casual look to the overall design. Not quite so stiff and organized. And then lastly, for fun, Talancia, the air plants. And that deeper color, using a wired pick, just lashing around, securing it to the stick, and then placing it down where it will show nicely over the top of the other blooms. I have a couple more to add a little more size, already wired, tucked in, and maybe even out towards the front. Autumn is such a fabulous time of year. And yes, we normally think of the fire colors as being autumn. But as you can see, purple can be autumn as well. 
For more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you need supplies, have questions, anything you want to share with us, feel free to contact us through the website or telephone at 1-800-819-8089. And of course, I love to see what you create. Send me a picture at my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.